All right, we're at Stingray Aquarium Exporters in Peru, Iquitos, and uh, largest facility we've visited so far. And it'll be hard because a lot of stuff is in ponds, but you might have just seen the reflection, but everything move underneath. Tons of corridors in these first few vats. The sheer volumes, you know, we're talking 5,000, 7,000. They're really concentrated in that back corner back there, as you might be able to see. And then over here, look at this giant panak. Hand size for reference here. Like he's 18 inches or so. Oh, these are electric eels, I believe. Looks like we've got uh, some bigger, like brocus type, no, maybe not brocus type quarries, but, and another mixed in catfish. I wonder what these guys were before they died. So that's never good. Raphael catfish, they're all hiding in the dark because they're a catfish, but. And so a lot of you might be wondering like, why aren't the vats absolutely filled? Well, a lot of the water really has to get treated. They've got, you know, some primitive water treatment right there, but water is, you know, kind of an expensive resource in second world countries. Wow, just the amount of corridors that are in there. And so this is a place that a wholesaler I would buy from would buy from. And we, we, are, we are allowed to buy direct, but the sheer amount of quarantining and meds and all that, and the quantities you want to bring in are, are pretty crazy. You know, these might be 500 lots of Corridoras, which, you know, we sell quite a bit, but we don't sell that much to warrant the quarantining. Those look like Julii Corys. Yeah, more. Those might be Virginia. Crazy how many are in these vats. So I'm gonna try and find something besides Corydoras, but oh, that's a cool shot. I'm all migrating. So eels and tetras. I wonder if the tetras are feeders for the electric eels. I don't know. This might be like an elegant species type. The sheer amount of fish. This is so far the only place that's worried me about potentially overfishing. Like, I'm not saying this is, but numbers are high enough here that like, wow, this is a lot of fish. Where, you know, stuff that we, you know, I'm taking, I think, less than 20 fish total home from collecting the Amazon, and people eat more than that. These are in high enough numbers. Like, I have no idea, does this last six months or is this like a week's worth? I have zero reference. More eels. Yeah, just the corridor selection is nuts. Corridor Malini. Pretty spectacular selection, though, honestly. Wow. Bad for that. I'm going quickly to hopefully. I mean, there's got to be more stuff, more of the luck heels. But I wonder what's in like the next, next row over. What do we got here? More. Uh, Raphael type cats. We'll focus on some other parts as I find them. Over here, they're assembling boxes for export. And so, you know, you've got the styrofoam there, you've got a guy in the back there, he's cutting the plastic, making the box liners. That's pretty cool, look at this. So they take the raw, the raw sheet right here. And they're cutting it down into the sizes they need. This huge foam block. They said 
or at least the best of my knowledge, stop filming because I have a hard hat, that type of stuff, which is totally reasonable. We got what we needed out of there. But yeah, to have, I imagine to have a building that size just to process a styrofoam, clearly an insane amount of fish must be exported through here. Yeah, this is where they're getting rid of counting shipments to go out, I believe. Yep. Those are autos. More autos. You can kind of see each. Uh, maybe you guys can't see, but in each one of those, you can see their whole. Those are all just stacked. More fish shipments to go. You can see there's just tons of them, and that's it's actually a very efficient way to have containers that stack like that for export. Yeah, I think this is another processing counting area. Right in here, you can see it must be. Maybe they're done for the day. Get started early before the heat really sets in. It's like a pond of tetras. All corridors. Wow. Look at that. I wonder what are in the bags. Is there something in the bag? Oh yeah, plecos. Pre-cut plecos of the day to go out. You can see they're draining water here. Yeah, someone's probably ordering you know, 100 lot or whatever that is. You can't imagine the heat and humidity in here. Steel roof, it's already 90 plus today, but the humidity, it's just, it's almost hard to breathe in here, but it's super cool. And now we're getting to the tanks. Look at those guys. I'm gonna flip the camera around, we'll show you. Look at those guys, with the streamers on the tails. It's very cool how they're laying down the sponge filter so they can keep the tank short. Good idea. More core. It's gonna be hard with the sunlight and filming. You can see these channels of water. Wow. I never see him come with the streamers like that. I think that's Corridor's Melini. Or not Melini, uh Melotania. Wow. Gotta be careful not to fall and just die. <laughs> you see, just in a little time, I've been in this building for, you know, what is this, like three or four minutes? That's the amount of, of humidity and heat going on in here. Baby and Sistress, it looks like. Oh, the Ranger Pleco. Yeah. You've got more snowballs. Different size. Okay, it's huge. Okay, yeah, this one. Tetras. Look at the shovel nose. There's Gene filming over there. Michael Barber who brought us here. Looks like I got some meds in the water on this one, which is good to see. The numbers are just crazy. Not only does it look cool, but just sheer numbers. It's like being at a wholesaler, except it's all Peruvian fish. So you're not seeing any shrimp, any live bears, emerald green corridors. For the most part though, I will say, not a lot of dead fish. For the amount that are here. Silver dollars. Like Cupido type of Gymnogeopagus. Festivums. Not sure what tetra that is. Neon tetras. Wow, look at these knives. Look at trumpet nose to them. Vampire tetras. 
These angels are beautiful. Beautiful. Well, we've been told we can buy anything we want, but I'm only bringing stuff we caught and that I really want. Those are big Romeo's Tetris. They're nice. Some Geos. Wow, look at these things. It's like a blind cave type of eat, like knife. Clearly they must be jumpers. We're trying to determine if it's odd in here or not. I've been showing people my arm and like oh, this yeah. is this is from humidity and walking. That's your face. That's my face. I was trying to tell people, tin roof. And the humidity in here. Sunshine, it's going to be You can see it in your shirt. Out. We've only been here like 15 minutes. Right. The Munchausen Tetris. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know those fish. Yeah, I'm going to get by you. Yeah, we're I'm going to go around the other one. Okay. Those Remy nose just look really good. They need more red in their nose, but they look robust and healthy. Leaf fish. Ooh, and more knives. These are cool, the Black Morpho Tetra, I think. Maybe not, but they're so cool. I think I'm gonna have to go outside, I'm dying. With nothing to drink, we didn't bring anything to drink or anything. Lots of salt, salt's the key. Salt and air. Oh, here's one of the ponds that rotted out. See so here we got these big catfish, found some more. And then, down here I found some stingray. It's in the corner way back there. There's one right here. More cats. Oh, more stingrays too. Right there. I feel like they need air going in here. Maybe they turn the air off while they're servicing it. But Oh, you can see the water change happening. You can see the fish a lot clearer when the water level is lower. You can see any water that goes in above that would just overflow and it would come down the channel. So. These have to be some kind of feeder tetra for these big catfish. Because they only ever put them with the big catfish and eels. It's the only dead fish I've seen, so I don't know how that works, but... Yeah, the place is crazy. Just, it's got to be 10,000 fish right here. No joke. Like when you actually just look at that and you just you see how big this is. Yeah, this corridor has got to be like 10,000 right here. Crazy. All right, well, if you watched this far, like, subscribe. Those are free. Hit the notification bell. It's free. And uh, if you're a member, check out a little bit of behind the scenes stuff. Uh, basically, you, you would have already seen a little bit of snippets from this video uh, in the members and the stories and that kind of stuff. But thanks for watching, guys, and uh, off to sweat to the next, the next place.